Why did we build that pedestal for the Ephemicron? The whole thing's gone to Ant's head. <laughs> Oops. Mm. Really sorry, Dad. The Ephemicron has survived unscathed for 6,000 years. Can it survive one day with Ant? Uh, I'm sure it'll cope with one little bump. Right, Nerys? I... Well, uh, who knows? Yes! It still works! B but I knew it would. <laughs> so, Nereus, you can't tell us what any of these symbols mean? Hmm. I only know that one of these symbols will lead to Lemuria. Or could be Lemuria. Or not. You're doing that on purpose. Look! That one, right there. Wow. You think that's Lemuria? It's right where the Baltic Sea Anomaly is. Oh, no. Oh, yes! Oh, how many times have I pleaded, begged, cajoled, nagged, whined, on and on. Exactly. I've wanted to see the Baltic Sea Anomaly all my life. And now the Ephemicron is telling us it's important. So we gotta go now, right? Ugh. Interesting, Antaeus. Uh, why do you want to see it? Because it's scientifically proven by experts. Everyone everywhere knows it's an alien spaceship. My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectins, and we explore the deep. This is the real photo of the Baltic Sea Anomaly, don't you? Yeah. See? That's it. It's an artist's impression. It's fake. Only because radios and cameras don't work within 100 meters of the anomaly. The aliens are clearly camera shy. You're the expert, Narius. What do you think? You have a point. And so does Antaeus. <gasps> Perhaps the answers will be found in the Chronicle of the Deep. Captain Evasive strikes again. All slow. Sonar indicates something on the seafloor ahead. There! There it is. Oh my. Maybe we should have come here sooner. suddenly gone very quiet, Fontaine. Everything's quiet compared to you, Ant. Wow. Just wow. The anomaly is approximately 80 meters long and 60 wide. And looks exactly like an alien spaceship. Or something more believable. Like what? Well, that website said it could be a volcanic plug that sealed a small volcano and, over millennia, the surrounding Earth eroded away. Fontaine, you can't believe every theory you read on the internet. I know for a fact that this is an alien craft. How? I read it online. Ugh. Be careful out there. No reason for concern, Will. I'm not reading any radiation. The seafloor is stable. Huh?
Keiko? Hello, Keiko, come in. Hmm. The Knights have entered some kind of dead zone. Engines full of stern. And it appears we have to. Kids? Keiko? I need to get eyes on them. Do you see them? Are they okay? They're fine. They're out. But whatever knocked out the knights also knocked out their comms. You mean they can't hear each other? Exactly. Either Keiko's explaining this dead zone, or she wants pizza. She does like pizza. I like my pizza covered in goat's yogurt. Always have. Yeah, that sounds about right. All we can do is wait for the current to float us over the anomaly and out of this zone's interference. How long? Mm, not sure. But we'll get the knights back that way, too. And the others? Will they come back to the Aranex? That would be the safe, smart thing to do. But they're swimming away from the Aranex. Hey, power! Can anyone hear me? Anyone copy? Copy. Fontaine? Yeah, I copy. Aranax, this is Keiko. Copy? They've still got interference. <sighs> I hope this is the only dead zone. This thing is giving me a weird vibe. Of course it's weird! It's alien! And just because it's weird doesn't make it alien. You're weird and you're not from another planet. Is he, Mom? Mm, the jury's still out. I'm taking a closer look! Of course you are. Be careful. Wow, look at the glow coming from it. What could it be? It looks otherworldly. Of course it looks otherworldly. It's clearly from another world. Light coming from the anomaly. Interesting. It might connect to something I found in the Chronicle of the Deep. I didn't expect holes everywhere. Hey! Have a look at this! The holes down here are even bigger. Still drifting. Where does this dead zone end? Before the lights went out, I read here that in ancient times, a bright star fell from the skies. But unlike a normal meteor, it didn't fall straight down. It flew erratically, changing direction several times before it fell into the sea. And that's the Baltic Sea anomaly? Well, it's possible. Is that what the Ephemeron symbol is pointing to? The object that fell from the sky? I can't tell. Why not? It's too dark to read. Here's the plan. We go back to the Aranax, get all our tech up and running, decide the best assets to deploy, then undertake further exploration. Where's Ant? We can get inside! Oh no. Ant's got his own plan. Swim into a mysterious object and hope for the best. Stay here. Ant! If there are green men inside waiting to take Ant to another planet, don't argue! It's like this place has been chiseled out by tiny tools. You breached diving protocol again, Ant. Stop racing off solo. Sorry, Mom. But it's not every day you get to explore an alien spacecraft. That's a reasonable excuse, I suppose. Okay, but let's hurry. We floated outside the dead zone. Keiko? Fontaine? Ant? Anyone copy? <sighs> These dead zones. There seems to be different pockets of them. Can't go any further. 
I have no idea what made these tiny holes. And tiny aliens with tiny power tools is not the answer we're looking for. Come on, Ant. We should regroup with your father. What is that? <sighs> wow. What is it? Not sure. But this piece moves. <gasps> wow. According to this reading, whatever this is, it generates its own power source. What's that? More machines, maybe? It's coming this way. Ant, what have you done? Let's go now. Whoa! Just keep going. What's happening? Move, move, move! Something's coming. A, a cloud. <gasps> Look! Uh oh. We can't outswim them! Huh? What? The aliens didn't see us? They're not aliens. They're mantis shrimp. Big ones. And they certainly saw us. Mantis shrimp eyesight is better than any living creature. They can see parts of the spectrum we can't even imagine. And it looks like they only have eyes for one thing. The Aranax. I think the lights are attracting them. Will, Will, come in. A dead zone's between us. Mantis shrimp? Not good. Uh, Will, hold on! They're aggressive, destructive, and their pincers can accelerate to 100,000 meters per second. They can punch through anything. And that ultra-rapid movement, doesn't it create light? Look! So, at the anomaly, the mantis shrimp created that glow? Right after you stirred them up. That glass cannot crack! Will, are we in trouble? Right now? Yes. <sighs> Do mantis shrimp eat metal? Guess you can't hear me. Must be in another dead zone. Come on, guys, faster! I can't move the air next till you get back! Uh, Will, I have troubling news! We're out of the zone. Will, copy! Pico! The shrimp might be attracted to the lights! Turn them off! Any change? Yes, we're standing in the dark now. But the shrimp is still attacking! They're definitely attracted to the Aranax for some reason. Fontaine, how much more of the light spectrum can these shrimps see? Way beyond ultraviolet. So they can probably see electrical fields. Maybe that's what's attracting them. Copy that. There is? Catch! It's not electrical. Cell phones, tablets, devices all over the Aranax are running on batteries. They've all got to be turned off. Jeffrey, how do I turn this off? Uh, Will? Nurius, use the claw to lure me into the moon pool, then shut it off. Uh, right. Hit. Release. <gasps> what? What? Yeah! Oops, oh, sorry. That, oh, oh, oh dear. That, oh. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, that, that was me. Sorry. My bad. Oh. Ah, that looked painful. I got confused. Keep turning things off. I'll make sure the shrimp leave. Uh, wait. How do I turn off the... Oh, come on! I've deciphered mysteries of the ages. Surely I can work out how to turn you off. Hmm. 
If we can't stop them, the Aranats is going to end up like the anomaly, nibbled through by those sea termites to make a new home. Oh, I should never have brought us here. Will! I have a plan. I'll be right back. I'll have the Aranats ready to start the moment you get back. Hey, Shrimp! Catch me if you can! It's finger time! Not what they were designed for, but something tells me you guys are gonna like this! <laughs> it's working! Like moths to a flame! Uh, by chance anyone got any spare fingers? Will! Whoa! Dad, eject! Activating rebreather mask. He'll be okay once he gets out. The shrimp will stick with the knight. The ejector mechanism is damaged. Cannot eject. Uh, Ballast venting. Sinking oh. fast. Not gonna lie, this plan worked better in my head. I'll shut down Dad's knight. Once he's depowered, the shrimp shouldn't be interested in him. And Fontaine can take care of that alone. How do we draw the shrimp away? Uh, pizza? Ice cream? Uh... <gasps> Got it! Got what? I'll need my knight. Be careful. <laughs> this plan better be an improvement on let's visit the Baltic Sea anomaly. It can't really be worse. Dad, can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, boy. I've got water inside. <sighs> what? Sorry. I had to turn it off somehow. Narius, I need your help. I'm depowering you, Dad. Ugh. Come on, guys! Move! <laughs> the power's off, but they're still attacking. The life support must be running on backup power. Shadow Knight, don't fail me now. Yes! <laughs> you want power, Shrimp? Come get it! And? It's working! Good work, kids! Yeah, it's working! Ugh. Oh, maybe too well. Manual eject is offline. Get back to the Aranex, Fontaine. You can't lift me alone. We'll think of something else. <laughs> Looks like Mom is a step ahead of us. Okay, that's Fontaine. We have to pull. <coughs> Put some muscle into it, Narius. Physical strength is not my strength. Ed, you okay? Sticking with the plan. Oh, come on, Dead Zone. Where are you? Yes! Just in time! <laughs> Fooled ya! Looks like we're in the clear. No! Turn it off! Helping guys. <laughs> oh, this can't be good. I need another power source. Oh, boy. What is he doing? It's that weird box he found. Oh, I really don't want to let this go. But... Our chance. Let's collect the knights. Uh. 
<laughs> that was good, quick thinking, Ant. There could be more proof of alien life in there somewhere. We are getting out of here before those things finish what they're eating. Oh, goodbye, proof of alien life. So the shrimp were probably attracted to the electrical energy inside the spaceship. Anomaly. Spaceship. For thousands of years, they ate and evolved, got bigger, and dug further into it. Theoretically. I had evidence. Now all I've got is... Whoa, look! There's the same symbol. And there, and there! According to the scroll, they all mean objects that fell from the sky. Yes! We can check them all out. But we have Lemuria to find, Dantes. Marius is right, but this has helped. Now we can eliminate those symbols from the search. Mm. Well, once we find Lemuria, we can check out these symbols, right? Why? All we're likely to find are mantis shrimp nests. Totally unlikely. Way more likely than alien spaceships. You know, one day I'm gonna meet a real alien, Fontaine. And the first thing I'm gonna teach you to say is, I told you so. <laughs> sure.